And okay, let's start. Abby. Abby. Near Saint Domingue, 1735, but slightly before Black Flag, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Disabled Templar ships. Where am I? West Indies. The parcel itself is less interesting than its intended recipient. Let's eliminate this errand boy admiral. Saint Domingue, originally known as a hunting ground for the Taino and Cari people. The island of Hispaniola was first colonized by Christopher Columbus in 1492 in the name of Spain in 1501. The colony began importing African slaves in the early 17th century, brought French pirates seeking on secret bases on the abandoned northern and western coast of the island. In 1665, French colonization was officially recognized by King Louis XIV, renaming the colony Saint Domingue. And in 1697, under the Treaty of Rieswijk, Spain was forced to hand over the rights to the island to France. A slave based society was constructed around the production of sugarcane to satisfy European demands for sugar. The island was nicknamed the Pearl of the Antilles. It became the wealthiest colony in the West Indies. Note, we could use the weather to manipulate the ambience, tropical storms, torrential rainfall, high winds, hurricanes, and large waves. Yes, because these people didn't already have enough problems. Let's throw the weather at them, too. Realism. Adewale. Born in 1692, Trinidad. Born to enslaved Ogoni parents in Yoruba, Adewale was sold to the owner of a prosperous plantation for his teens. Yeah, I think I read all that from Black Flag. Uh, in 1715, no, take him to Havana, he knows Spanish, English, and French, uh, yeah, and he escaped with Edward Kenway. From that point on, and he sailed to the quartermaster about Kenway's ship. In 1720, uh, Eddie never trusted Roberts. Uh, yeah, Eddie took the ship away and then went to Atabai. So this is slightly after Eddie left uh, the Edward. When I became an assassin, I swore to leave piracy behind. But the old methods have served the creed more than once. Aye, and often it is necessary. They are not too strong for us. Fire! 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 That's a man of war. Lose all, let's move. Fire! Fire! Lose up! He is a stick! That's their weak spot. Fire! Take the shot! Have it out that time! Fire! Fire! Almost! Ready, Captain! Fire! 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 Okay, we're gonna need some repair, but we're fine. Bring it up, Halyards! Pool! What, you said mobilize? It didn't say sink, so I'm mobilized. Royal studs! Yeah, it's slightly more black flag than rogue. Kill crew, captain, and officers.
Okay, those were the officers. Okay, leave it. What do we have? No swords. Flip dots. Oh, we've got the rope dots. Come here. Okay, where's the captain? Really? I'm out of dots? Since when am I out of dots? Can I pick up a sword? Thank you. Go below. What is below? Maybe the Zoktans. Anyway, sword. Bastien Joseph, Port-au-Prince. What business do Templars have there? Captain! More French vessels at our tail! Too many! We'll retreat through the storm! We will be smashed ashore! A worse fate awaits if we let this land in Templar hands! Captain! <sighs> Let's ride the lightning. Captain! Maroons, people of the West Indies, Central America, South America, and North America that escaped slavery and found, formed, and settled communities away from their oppressors. Although the African slaves were not the first to be treated so badly, the Taino tribes that first inhabited St. Domingue were abused and bullied in submission by the Spanish. Refusing to work for them, the Taino people were the first to settle in the mountains and later made room for the fugitive slaves. Most of the slaves of St. Domingue fled to the mountains to hide from their oppressors and start new lives often based on subsistence, agriculture, and survival hunting. Some became warriors and fought for independence and in the freedom of other slaves. Maroons were known to raise crops, attempt to scare off plantation owners and overseers, loot and conduct violent raids on nearby sugar and coffee plantations. But although these bands of maroon warriors grew in size, they more than often not lacked the leadership to carry through a large-scale objective. Not surprisingly, the Code Noir still sided with masters. They were given a great deal of liberty in the retaliation methods. Plantation slaves were killed in an attempt to keep the maroons at bay. 
Many of the attackers were slaughtered and the death penalty was given out as a common form of punishment. Runin St. Domingo ultimately responsible for one of the few successful slave uprisings in history and the only one to result in the founding of a free state, the Republic of Haiti. After a century of effort and more than one attempt, no, the Maroons are not to be confused with other black populations in Saint Domingue at the time, freedmen, slaves who were freed legally through emancipation or men's mission, and Chens de Colère, who were born free or freed at birth. Oh, oh. No knows when to run. Rescue yourselves! I must stay with the ship! No, I will stay Oh my god, I'm being drawn in. Oh my god. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Come on, move it. Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. That hurts. Four crew lost. Shit. There's another fort I can stop with. Yeah. Lost four crew and half the ship. Keep control, Eddie. Oh, I didn't know I had to do that. This is the Maroon hideout often to acquire new supplies. Watch the resistance.
Where are we? Machete. Yeah, sure. Templar can wait. This woman must not suffer. Where did my button go? What the hell happened? <laughs> okay, let's try again. The Templar can wait. This woman must not suffer. to offer but thanks nothing else is needed as a boy i fled the same fate why would you risk recapture men of principle know the bigger risk is to turn away i'm looking for bastian joseph you know her when ma'am but any fine gentleman may lead you to her too late for this one Find another in town. The thanks is now mine. The other place of refuge. My family waits in the mountains. Demon, Gemon. Que Dieu soit avec vous. Overseers. Traditional nobles in colonies were generally wealthy, white Europeans ruling in absentia. Most of the times, they delegated their authority to overseers who control the day-to-day -day production of the plantation. The overseers were the people in charge of running the plantation's day-to-day -day activities, administering discipline and often acting in place of the true owners. Hispaniola was first home to Taino tribes who suffered abuse, disease and slavery after the first contact with the Spanish, ultimately reducing the population to an estimated 500 by 1548. With native populations waning, colonies looked for other sources of manual labor to help supply Europe's growing demand for goods. They turned to Africa. In French-controlled Saint-Domingue, conditions were punishing and birth rates for slaves were lower than death rates. Rather than improve conditions, the colony simply increased the rate at which it imported slaves. By the 18th century, Saint-Domingue became home to the largest slave society with the most brutal conditions in the world. Yeah, sure, why, why improve everything instead of getting more people enslaved. Are you a... Oh, that's a general store? The machete, a large knife, can be used either as a tool or a weapon. The blade can vary in length. Machetes were frequently used to cut through undergrowth, trim vegetation, harvest sugarcane, and cut open fruit. They were convenient as a weapon because they were used so frequently, making them easily attainable on plantations. Blunderbuss. I have no money for anything. I want hope doubts. <coughs> Good day, and fortune favor you. Jailers? Today, port prince is known as the capital and largest city in Haiti, but it took a long while to get there, changing hands as interest shifted and power changed hands. A bustling center of commerce in the 1730s, the current port prince area was part of the grand scheme of Saint-Domingue, which was then home to over 140 sugar plantations. The English did not travel the area during this decade, and the various nobles sought large land grants in port prince from the French monarchy. 
African slaves outnumbered the rest of the population by a large margin. From a Maroon perspective, Port-au-Prince was significant as a trading location and a major center for slave labor. It would also become a strategic target in the slave revolution that built in, st that built in starts and stops throughout the 18th century, ultimately culminating in the founding of the Republic of Haiti. Yeah, I don't like you. Okay. So liberating slaves is good. Got it. Oh, he's, he kicks it differently. Okay. The Code Noir. The Code Noir was originally established in May 1685 by King Louis XIV of France and enacted in March 1687. It was a set of rules governing the rights and policy policing of slaves and remained in effect until 1789. Articles of the Code Noir made Catholicism mandatory in French colonies, provided guidelines for slave punishments, and also included a number of articles designed to limit the mistreatment of slaves. Masters were obligated to provide shelter, food, and clothing for the slaves and were not allowed to torture or mutilate their workers, only beat them. Slave families were not to be sold separately. Care was to be given to the sick and, and dying. It was also stated that masters should only punish repeat offenders. But the Code Noir was never fully enforced, making way for all sorts of abuse. Most slave owners only adhered to the articles that benefited them. Some masters even became known for their cruelty and inventive methods of torture, and many violations were waived and overlooked. This was especially the case in St. Domingue, where the pressures to remain the world leader in sugar and coffee production was felt more strongly by the slaves who provided all of the necessary labor. What am I looking at here? Aha. Uh -huh. More slaves to liberate. Let's try and steal it, okay? Let's see if it works. Okay, sorry, wrong button. I stole the key, yeah. Make your ancestors proud. Okay, now I want that viewpoint and that chest. I'm also not gonna bother too much with collecting unless it's really in my way. Oh, okay. Madame Joseph's women are the finest outside Paris. Mark my words, though. Guzan has eyes only. Louis Godin, 1705 to 1759. Born in France and demonstrated academic ability early, publishing his astronomical table in 1724 at the age of 19, gaining admittance to the Academie Francois. 
His, success, his successor, his scientist, led to his selection as leader of the geodesic expedition to Peru, but he proved to be a poor leader, simultaneously becoming thirsty for power and squandering expedition money on a prostitute from La Dame and Rose, with whom he fell in love with, while the expedition was stranded in St. Domingue in 1732. The geodesic expedition to the equator was a joint expedition to Peru by a team of French and Spanish scientists. Its purpose was to measure the circumference of the Earth. Houdin's expedition was only a partial success, its results ultimately overshadowed by those of a simultaneous mission to the North Pole, but its data did allow scientists to confirm the oblate shape of the Earth, which allowed sailors like Adewale to plan their travels more accurately, thus reducing costs and risks. I'm on my way there now to present her with a gift. Enjoy yourself, sir, and fear not, you'll meet no competition from me. My heart is too weak. Okay. There's too many overseers, I'll have to get back to this. I don't want to lose the target. Really? This is not climbable? He's drop on the conversation. Who's watching me? Why are you watching me? Already. Then show yourself out. Yeah, Marquis de Fayette, a governor. Born 1675 to a family which, though respected, had few land claims. He distinguished himself by virtue of his leadership throughout a productive naval career, which saw him rewarded with an appointment as governor of Saint Domingue in 1732, leaving a wife and children in France. Journey to the colony, hoping to use a brief stint as governor to earn enough respect, power, and wealth to soon return to France and retire in grace and style. Not much is known of his private life during this time, but he did frequent La Dame and Rose, and had more than a passing acquaintance with the brothel madam and information broker Bastien Giuseppe. During the Fayette's ten years governor, the slave population of Saint Domingue would swell to 2,000, outnumbering Europeans by a factor of three to one, allowing for both greater production of cash crops. And increased political instability, St. Domingue, under his leadership, was both profitable and brutal.
Madame Joseph. Expecting a package. <laughs> but not you. Where's l'admiral? I see. And do you mean for me to meet the same fate? Look around. One threat, and these men will end you. I bring no threat. Tell me, how do the Templars allow you to carry on like this? <laughs> I am only the messenger. But before you judge, remember, the Templars coin like any will buy the freedom of men like you. I know this, Mark. You know nothing. You have the brand of a slave. The eloquence of a scholar. Hands of a sailor. And an assassin's hood. Few weapons. I don't need many. I think the storm stranded you. What do you need? A ship? Shelter? These things can be had for the price of this parcel. I need nothing I can't win for myself. But prove that what you promise is true. And perhaps something can be arranged. Is this your game? Very well. Then you will do me a favor. Augustin Dufort is a very secretive man. First find his plantation contact and give him this message from the Gouverneur. Augustin will give you all the proof you need. Repeat this password. Sili va dodo kabla va manje. Sili va dodo kabla va manje. Pas mal. A convincing baraton. Now I suggest you leave before my admirers get suspicious. Okay. many Okay, where are those evil guys? And you? No, of course you can't, because the buttons are all the same. Why don't you disable the synchronize button when I've already synchronized? Well, you didn't respond fast enough.
Okay. Trust in yourself. I see a keyhole though. You wanna fight me? You deserve to have a choice. Come on, move it. What was the... To avoid the casualties. Okay. Tell me about plantation life. Life on the St. Domingue plantations was harsh. Slaves were tortured, violated, starved, made to live in shacks, and exhausted of all their energy. Everywhere on our plantations, domestic slaves catered to every need of their masters and overseers, and worked when they were told, despite what the Code Noir dictated. The lash, both its image and sound, was perhaps the most common memory of plantation life. Lashing was a very common form of punishment used to force and threaten slaves into doing work. They were also cajoled with food, clothing and rest as incentives, and were sometimes given the freedom to raise their own livestock and crops. That being said, the conditions on the sugar plantations were brutal. During the eight-month sugar harvest, slaves were expected to work long hours until all the work was done, including on Sundays, which the Code Noir specifically set aside as a day of rest. Slaves collapsed from exhaustion regularly and sometimes got into horrible accidents with the primitive machinery used on the plantations. Slaves were considered to be pieces of property and were generally labelled as unskilled, though many slaves were skilled masons, metal workers, co coopers, cooks, seamstresses, and nurses. Personal violations were also used as a method of control. Slaves were often relocated to other plantations without warning and were separated from friends, family members, and children. Many slaves were also raped. None of this stopped enslaved people from starting families and having social lives on the plantations. Friends and family units were created in the barracks, and children were reared and taught the dangers and risks of the harsh life they were brought into. These barracks were the focal point for developing slave communities. Religion also played a major part. Faith offered the slaves a form of escapism from their harsh lives and masters. Sometimes religious scripture was used as code amongst its followers, sparking more hope and sometimes a rebellion. Dark as these times were, there was still a spark of hope among the people. Speaking of people, Bastien Giuseppe. An intelligent, outwardly outgoing woman, Bastien Giuseppe had many acquaintances and few friends. Born free and raised by her mother, a prostitute, Hitler Dam and Rose, Bastien Giuseppe made her first friends by selling glimpses of illicit acts to local children, but was shunned and labeled as morally corrupt as a young teenager. Choosing to avoid prostitution herself, Bastien learned to read, write, and manage financial affairs. In time, she became the brothel madam's indispensable right-hand woman, in this capacity, she bore witness to all the secret deal-making, political manipulation, and scandal among the brothel patrons, and learned the true power of the Madame of La Dame de and Rose. Engaged once, she ultimately avoided the altar, realizing it would deprive her of the freedom she had carefully cultivated for herself. Instead, inherited the brothel following her mentor's death, and took private pleasure in seeing the bullies and hypocrites of her childhood become her paying patrons once more. In the successful business the previous madam had built, Giuseppe saw potential for something more. Doubling her business, she then used the brothel to undertake two types of actions on behalf of maroons and enslaved Africans in Port-au-Prince. She used the proceeds to buy the freedom of slaves and used the confidential veil of the brothel itself in tandem with her control over the women who walked there to solicit political favors from powerful clients, including Governor de Fayette and the scientist Louis Godin. In 1735, she met at the wallet for the first time, 
and the two became an easy partners in helping Augustine Dufort and the Maroon Claws. It does seem that a friendship developed between them, but it is unclear to what extent. Kill the Overseers. I don't think that's hidden enough. Okay. No? Oh, that's an alarm bell. Where the hell are you going? Sing the code phrase. Wait, I'm gonna clear this place first. I know this too. Why didn't they see you before? Over here! You have ammo? Oh, cool. Mm hmm. Those are cows. Quiet. No. 
Yeah, you're gonna have to do the cleanup. Up. You need to take shelter until the day is done. Yeah, you plant liberation. Pop down pouch, smoke bomb pouch. Oh, they're all gone. What is... That just means plantation? Okay, but I want this viewpoint. it yeah I'm gonna focus on this one I know this too the wise man is down that path thank you sister Oh, we are doing ship stuff. Looks like the maroons aren't doing so well. Push an overseer into the water and perform an air assassination from over 10 meters. Montagne Noir, the Black Mountain, located in the central part of western Hispaniola, often used by Maroon Wars as a piece, place of refuge, the treacherous landscape working to their advantage. Maroons escaped the mountainous regions of the island to join previously established communities or start their own strongholds. The fugitive slaves could freely raise crops and livestock hidden in shelter by the mountain face. The goons were able to survive by sending traders to nearby cities or by raiding plantations for cloth, weapons and food. 
mountains ex rough exterior made it extremely difficult for any surprise attacks from oppressors, and the high altitude was ideal for maroon lookouts. Whoa, okay. Oh, God damn it. You can't whistle when you hang for some reason. But the buttons are stupid. Push an overseer into the water. that count? Are you a buddy? Okay, that counts. Did you think we would never find ya? Loot ammo. Move it. Oh, yeah, Gosson Dufour. Do not let them escape the river. Oh, that kind of thing. Augustine Dufour, born 1701, to, into slavery, sold away from his mother, and passed from plantation to plantation as owners leapt at the chance to buy him cheaply, only to find him too thin and frail to be of much use. Changing hands so often gave Dufour an advantage. He learned the layouts, routines, and habits of plantations and the overseers across Saint Domingue. 
He used this knowledge to plan a careful escape and thus became one of the few child slaves to survive to adulthood. A deeply faithful man, Dufour was baptized Catholic in accordance with the rules of the Code Noir, but through his spirituality from voodoo and his strength from his unwavering drive for African independence in Saint Domingue. In 1735, he was introduced to Adewale following a raid on his headquarters, and the two formed a loose partnership exchanging strengths and ideas over the years as follow. Come on. All you have to do is sail away from the shore. Can I control anything? Certainly not. What? The blunderbuss. Stains your fall. Blandi sans fait. Bon Dieu fait sans dit. The French governor is two faced. Bastien helps as she can, but Marot independence is long to build. Longer now. A warrior like you would be a great asset to our cause. With due respect, I serve a different brotherhood and I'm honor bound to return as soon as I find the means. But only the Iowa know when that will be. Meantime, I have sanctuary and weapons to share. Perhaps our needs may align for a time. What do you need? Recruits, liberated slaves. The warriors among them join me. The others. Grow the community for which we fight. Titarti, Moazou fait son nid. I suppose I might lend a hand for a time. You could take a little break. I will see that you are rewarded for whatever you can give. Blunderbuss. <laughs> yes, please. Best begin soon. There's much to do. Blunderbuss. Okay. Resistance reward. Cool, cool members, resistance fighters. Okay. I guess I'll figure it out. The Blunderbuss. Short fire with a large caliber barrel, it is flared at the muzzle and is also only effective at short range. The word blunderbuss comes from the Dutch word dunderbuss, translating to thunderpipe. As it served a similar role, some consider this weapon to be an early form of what we now know as the shotgun. Slave banks were a common form of slave housing used in the 17th century. Yeah. Okay. Anything? No? Small lead shot. Good day, and fortune favor you. Plantations found new owner, check your map. Pouches. Oh, I need to buy it. Seventy five liberated slaves. Okay. You are wise, Captain. 
You never know what this cool world has in store. Why can't I change anything? We have lizards to fight, okay. Lead shots. Mission locked, recruited maroons. Why is the mission locked? Maroon hideout. Can I fast travel now? Okay. Oh, okay. But wait. Well, the where's the chest? How did I leave them chests and secrets? Okay, those are maroons. Yes, you can do it enough. No, no. These stags are in good physical condition. Good to hear. These beasts are in perfect physical condition. Only the best merchandise here. Want some? Thank you. You will not regret this. You too must help your brothers and sisters. Okay, so we're doing this. Injury. Sure, let's go. In this general direction. Thank you, Monsieur. It 
It's not over yet. Who will it get to Hope that is eight. Why? Unarmed, hidden blades, swords, pistols, mock bombs. No parts. Leap parts. Azak parts. Better. Oh, I forgot to actually tell them to walk away. You would do the same if you could. Um, what do you want me to do? Right now we won't. I will never forget it. Thank you. You know there is still much work to be done. Trust in yourself. Yeah, I'm working on it. What is that sugar cane doing? Come here.
No, 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 no. No, nothing's going on. Come on, something here is climbable. Yeah, they're gonna see me. You're doing it wrong. Fight for your freedom. safe out here. Go, find shelter. Okay, we've hit 91. I can get a new dog pouch. Okay.
Okay, where's the exit? Come on, move. Oof. Can I repay you, Monsieur? Join the cause. Too crowded. We can only put a stop to this by helping each other. Oh, okay, so I have a new objective. Where is this new objective? Uh, hi. Every day, more slaves arrive. Human cargo makes for lucrative trade. I once hoped men of education could be made to see the cost. The profit makes them ignorant. With the right vessel, you could intercept the slave ships before they arrive. Or you would be free to leave. You have already paid more than your share to the Mao of saint -Domingue. And I am no master. I cannot choose for you. This brigantine could meet your needs if you could relieve it of its crew. Bastien has volunteered her woman to draw the men away. Or you could set this tower light to distract them. Excellent options, all of them. What's this? Firecrackers. Some of your recruits salvaged them. It's only right that you should use them. Excellent. Once you send me a signal, I will send our men to join you. What does that blunderbuss fit on your back? Firecrackers are small explosive devices used mainly for the sound they produce. They are generally cylindrical in shape and are filled with explosive powder. Users are usually added, allowing the firecracker to be lit and thrown away from the user before it explodes. Bastion's girls and this fight four girls with firecrackers.
That's what I meant. Sucks for girls with the firecrackers. Well, apparently, I'm not able to. I don't know how this section works in that case. Fine, let's do it the old fashioned way. Isn't the girl gonna shoot again? Thank you. Pick it up. Pick it up! Pick it up! Come on! Come here! No, climb it. Okay. 
Come on. That's how you signal by setting the mast on fire. I am surprised to see you here. Are you not needed in the headquarters? I can train in order to take my place there. But when you are gone, who will captain this ship? The Experto Creed. Experto Creed. The double masted agile ship, the Experto Creed, was originally owned by the Frenchman merchants. It was stolen by the Waller in Saint Domingue during the early 18th century and used to aid the Maroon warriors. Must teach. Aye, I will. But you must not call me captain. You are the leader of these men. But you have earned the right. At sea, you will be my captain. Fine. Oh, we got man of war. How did you come by your knowledge of the sea, Ade? It was my first true home. Buccaneers offered me my first glimpse of freedom, and I took it. I learned by observation. They will not teach you. Nor accepted me as their captain once I had proven myself. Only the assassins offered me real authority. Uh huh. You were born in Trinidad? I, on a plantation. Are there not Maroon there who could use your help? I know we are not alone in Saint Domingue to fight for independence. It could well be. I have not returned to find out. I like the idea of you having to do side content to unlock main missions. It's actually good. Not a lot, but a little bit is good. Hey, the ghost reaper. How are you doing? Just cut your message. No singing? Oh, hello. Slave ship. Okay, that's the slave ship. There's a frigate and a brigandine following it. Do not attack slave ships. They do not need to be damaged. I have mortals. Okay, let's mortal them. Jackdaw, Augustine. Kenway ship and mine. 
Okay, that's all of them. Is that a shipwreck? So you're being efficient. Come on, block. Ironclad Ram, Blunderbuss, Emma Pouch. Resistance Fighters, Plantation Ray Bonus. Okay. Can I check what's available? Well, that's a lot of stuff, actually. Clean upgrades, ammo, heavy shot, motor shot. Round shot, heavy shot, give me round shot. And armor. And ram. And more round shots. Powered lion figurehead. Sure. No, I need that. What do you say? Pouches. Blunderbuss ammo pouch. Dart pouch. Firecracker bag. Hmm. 
makeshift firecrackers. Why do I keep losing the rope darts? Good choice, you won't regret it. Captain Strick! Man's out! Let's go! They want to follow, they can follow. What do we have here? Brig, metal. Master Puckle's gun. Oh, that was enough. Cool. Hmm. Oh, need repairs. That's so said the one to the one level. Will you sign on? Loose and catch the wind! Loose all! Let's move! Loose the royals! Loose the royals! That's a civilian. That's a man of war. No shanties. Sugar. Yeah, this one's slow compared to the Morgan. I like the Morgan. That's where we need to be. Play ship located. Next time. Port au Prince. Why didn't you say so? Yeah. 
Yeah, you know this whole slave thing? Let's let's stop that, shall we? I owe you so much thanks. You too must help your brothers and sisters. Wait, so every time I use the opt out it uses it? Oh, that's annoying. Damn it. What is this? What is this? What are you? There's a box. There's a box. Whatever. What are you? Anyway. Oh, French people. Let me open it. Hang on. Okay. Make your ancestors proud. Diamond Rose. Lifting the veil. Monsieur Adwelly. The Mayon cause has made an ally of you. Augustin speaks highly of your help. I do not know how much longer I'll be able to continue, but the Maroons are outstanding warriors. Augustine has provided me with everything I might need to get by until I return to my brothers. I believe you owe me a parcel then. Let me hold it a while longer, for safekeeping. You are not <laughs> a man of your word. My word was perhaps. It stands. <laughs> How little you must think of me. <coughs> On the Hello. contrary, you have maintained your freedom among the French by the deft handling of your indispensable business. I respect you highly. What would be a fool to trust anyone so clever so soon? Yeah, he's right. What a keen eye and sweet tongue you have. Since you cannot provide me with the one thing I truly desire, I hope to compel you to demonstrate some respect by some other means. I would consider it. I need a careful and observant man to investigate the Gouverneur. I must know what distracts him and why he enforces the Code Noir ever more strictly. The lives of the slaves depend on it. 
I share your curiosity. I'll pay you this favor for the slaves. Perhaps there is some honor in you yet. You will need a disguise. Please, change into these. What the hell are they wearing? What do you mean by this indignity? Do you mean to see me recapture? Indignity? Do you hold your enslaved brothers in such low esteem? Do you hold any man in high esteem? Or are we all pawns to you? Ha! <laughs> you should be so lucky. There is no tree. It is only that... Well... The governor of the Fayette will host a soirée soon. And imagine... I am not invited. <laughs> the excess of the occasion calls for an abundance of supplies to be delivered to his mansion. That's where you come in. With your crate, you will blend in with the men delivering the goods. Once on the ground, you can spy on the good governor. Will the overseers not notice one man extra? Or are you simply unconcerned for my well-being? <laughs> I've never met an overseer who could tell two slaves apart. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, be careful. I sense you are as bright as you are strong. You will figure it out. Yes, ma'am. Here they come. Join the line. Be careful. <gasps> What's going on back there? Fall in line. <laughs> Another fit for the pig? You are too complacent. Excellent. Put the crates down there. Shall miss you. <laughs> Uh, socializing. Back to work. Grants must be fit for a king when my guests arrive. Pretty bastards. Part of them should be whipped. I'm a prince, you realize? I'm a prince for putting up with them. Yes. Oh, my feet fit. What good is complaining? I will remember you said that. Hmm. Quiet now. Where are we going? You're all walking so slowly. Friend, that the guard change often. As often as night moves today. Thank you. If you are a friend, move it slow. Okay. Can I get my outfit back? Alarm bells will cause desynchronization. Kill the overseer who led the slaves. <coughs> I don't know which one it is.
kind to it three times this week. Pray that doesn't happen to me. I can't disable alarms right now, right? Like, there's nothing over there to hide behind. There are the bushes over there. Oh, the bushes over there. Yeah. Do you have anything I can take? See you though. I'm if you measure every father mean perfume on silk. Uh which a hiding spot. I could leap there, right? Expensive colony to govern. With the volume of slaves you import, I have thought you'd have gold to spare. Even free labor is not free, my friend. Slaves are expensive to replace. The poor beasts expire before they can reproduce. Even your slave ships would benefit from improved navigation. Few more accidents. Now that is <coughs> interesting. Liberate slaves from the slave bags? Can I disable that? Apparently I can. There's still another one over there.
Are those liberated? Good. Are you feeling liberated? Yeah, I think I need to go over there. No? Oh yes. What have you learned? The governor is overconfident. Despite his guard, I could have ended him with my bare hands. You have deserved it. What makes you believe you need him? I keep my friends close, and my enemies closer. Which camp are you in? Will you tell me what you have learned? Who distracts him? A bold-faced scientist, Godin, hounds the governor for funds. Something about an expedition, navigational secrets. Why is this the first time I hear of him? It's my whole network turned against me. Does the harbor master think I give him my best girls out of kindness? Do you wish me to investigate further? I admit, as a man of the sea, the science of navigation intrigues me. No. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> as you wish, but leave me, I must think. Okay. You can't just be standing there holding your rifle like you're everyone. Okay. Wait, there's a chest. Well, is the chest. Keep these streams slightly shorter because yeah, I've been playing this for a while. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun.